What is up, my dudes? This is Yard Brian. You're tuning into another episode of Malone. So, today, we gonna do something a little unorthodox again, because I'm an unorthodox type of person, okay? We are gonna dethatch midsummer. What did he say? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> People gonna be like, oh my gosh. You're gonna stress out the lawn. Does this lawn look stressed? Do you see this cup? <laughs> man, come on, man. Huh? Does this lawn look stressed to you? I don't think so. But it does look like there's a little bit of thatch layer, and we gonna remove it. So I was brainstorming with my dad, and I was like, Dad, you know, it looks the lawn looks kind of patchy. You know, it's like looks patchy, and there's like dead stuff going on. He's like, you know, I think it's time to dethatch. And I was like, you know what? I think you're right. I think you're absolutely right. When you have a thatch layer. I mean, it's just a accumulation of just everything that separates the grass and the soil, right? So when you're watering or you're putting on fertilizer, it's not penetrating into the soil. So might as well dethatch. Now, the thing is, you can dethatch whenever, realistically, right? If your lawn is healthy, go ahead and dethatch. If your lawn is a little bit dormant, I wouldn't dethatch, you know? That would that would kind of mess some things up. I can see how it could mess them some things up in the summer but you know this lawn right here oh it's gravy i just see a little bit of layer and i need that color back i want that green back i've been putting down fertilizers i've been putting down some iron i've been putting down some things and it just looks like it's not really doing much and that's the telltale sign thatch layer let's do it to it you know what tool we're gonna bust out we're gonna bust out the sun joe d thatcher now I am gonna invest in one that is cordless because right now I've been you know rocking this one, but it's great. I love this guy. You know, you, you, you get some extension cords, you know, you, you just, <laughs> I mean, it is kind of annoying. You know what I mean? Like having a cord follow you around, but it's all good. You know, it does the job. So the nice thing is we're just gonna go one round all the way through. And the, and the, the crazy thing is, when I started going, you know, back and forth the other direction, I mean, that's what you should do. You should you should just go more than one direction because then more thatch just started coming out. I mean, we're talking like 15 to 20 pounds of thatch all the way around. I mean, that's what we're watering. That's what we're putting down fertilizer on top of. No buen buen, okay? So after I did this, I was like starting to uh, research on YouTube again. And the big dogs, they be dethatching every freaking week in the summer. So it's all good, don't worry about that. A lot of people are, oh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm wait till, you know, late summer, early fall. Well, you don't have to wait because we do it every single year and look at the lawn, it, it looks amazing. And then, I mean, look at, there's, there's a good amount of thatch, but not too much where you're like, dang, like I saw this one video with like 1.9 million views. He probably had like 100 pounds plus of thatch. I mean that that's not that's not good <laughs> at least we know but the cool thing is I'm gonna save the back for tomorrow it's gonna be another video the back hasn't been dethatched I don't think ever I think we dethatched like the 300 square foot patch where that apple tree is right before we overseeded last year but the entire backyard hasn't been dethatched at all I can't wait to see how much thatch is in there we're gonna weigh it too Okay, I didn't wait a day. I, I just estimated, but it was heavy. There was a lot of stuff going on in there. So I believe the reason why I don't have a ton of thatch is because I bag every time I mow. Now, if I was, you know, mulching, I could see how there would be a lot of thatch buildup. But, you know, we, we, we have like some thatch, but not too much where, you know, it's affecting the lawn, you know, greatly. And at the same time, look at the lawn. It's already green. It's not stressed out. We're just helping it more. We're gonna let the water get in there even even better. The fertilizers actually go to the soil. It's gonna be awesome. So I might actually do this in another another two weeks, you know? Cause I see YouTube guys doing it. Their lawn looks freaking green just like mine. Now, if you're wondering, should I be dethatching right now? Again, if your lawn is stressed out, if it's dormant, absolutely freaking not. But if it's looking good and you're seeing kind of like some splotchy you know spots or you're just like, like kind of thinking hey it's not really penetrating like it used to 
then more than likely you have, you have a thing of thatch. Now, I did I have a little plugger tool that I'm going to do a review on here pretty soon, but when I pulled one of them plugs, yeah, you could tell there was like a little layer and some of the spots had like moss. It was like it was crazy. I pulled the plug and the moss was just like an accord. It was like a slinky. He just bloop. And I was like, "Oh man, there is some moss in between there. There's a little bit of thatch." So yeah, it was time. After you dethatch, of course, mow it up. Rake it up and then mow it up. Clean it up. Yo, this looks good. I mean, it's like removing, as my dad would say, removing the dandruff from the lawn. 100% it looks like dandruff and it looks cleaner. I feel a lot cleaner doing this. I mean, the lawn looks healthier. The color is, is like, it's brighter. It looks it's like, whoa, heck yeah, this is awesome. So I 100% recommend you dethatch your lawn midsummer if it's a little bit healthy. If, again, if it's stressed, I'd hold off. I'd hold off before you overseed again in the fall. But right now, yeah, I'm gonna keep dethatching because it looks great. I mean, I can't wait till the sun goes down and I can, you know, see, see it just like with just a flat light and it's just look, looking good, okay? All right, my dudes, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We are putting out content. You guys are the best. Until then, we'll catch you on the next video. Back it easy.